I'm glad that you know that it's him. He is farting a lot. Hey there, everybody. We're on a dog day adventure, and the dog is not only audibly farting, but like we got gas, and I could smell it outside the car through the windows being open like that far. While the gasoline was being pumped. So that should it, tell you about some of the ferocity involved. It's intense. And I don't What know. are we feeding them right now? Like, what is the food that you're giving them? I got them good food. They have good food. It's not a food issue. Good food doesn't mean it doesn't give you gas. This is true. I'm not going to shit talk a dog food on the camera. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. All right. So anyway, uh, Fits of Oregon 3. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Nah, we, we, we try to get the dogs out, so we'll see where we're going. Annie has picked a spot for us today. And uh, so let's let's go see it's another like park. 17 miles from our house. Not very far, but out in the country. A little drive. You'll probably get a little footage of the drive, I'm assuming, coming up. So, you know... Wait. Eggs and milk are cheaper in the country. And so are cars and trucks. That used to be an ad out of uh, RV seller in the country. And I've learned it now, even though they don't exist anymore. No, they sold out. But trust me, it was such a big thing. It's kind of like if you know Portland, Oregon wrestling, then you were used to the guy knocking on the TV screen. Wake up! Wake up! Anyhow, we'll get to that later. Nobody in the Philippines will remember that. He had a flat top and, oh my gosh, Tom Peterson. He sold TVs. We and he would bang on the TV screen in the middle of the late night wrestling on TV. And he would start his commercial with, wake up! Wake up! It was always so funny. Little baby, don't say a word. Really Mama's gonna buy you a monkey. There's some folks having a shoot in there or something like that but I just thought I'd capture the bridge we got a lot of copper bridges around here um, and then if you look this water is like super clear in fact it only looks it only looks that way because of the sunlight, honestly. It doesn't look hazy, but like here, maybe that's what I gotta like just clean my phone off, maybe. <laughs> but anyway. Alright, my wife has found another trail so that we can um, get a little further. But anyway. Welcome to Bits of Oh look, a fish. Lots of fish actually. So, and here he goes for a second wrap. I think this is a good idea. No, John Neal Memorial County Park. Axel. I had such high hopes for your intellect. Suspicious. And now look at this. Look at who else is getting in on the act. Honey, can you, can you film me? Can you just see what? How many loops you want? We've got around your feet, around your waist. If they see a squirrel, you're doomed. Uh, and look at your shirt. I showed up. It should say I survived. Well, the afternoon is young, as I've said. I think we're up to three loops. Oh, right. oh, he's unwinding. Go poor. Okay, seriously. Just... <laughs> oh, 
on my shoulder. <laughs> you just wrapped your waist again. <laughs> Ooh, I stepped in a hole. <laughs> We're fair. Ooh, I don't hey, don't you? So, looks like, um, do you see the, um, over in front of me, do you see all of this plants growing? Yeah. Do you see how that's the exact stuff that comes from fish stores that people pay a lot of money to put in fish tanks? What are you suggesting? Be smarter, people. Look out there how much there is. And it's like the conversation of moss. Remember how I told you I saw that big bag of moss the other day for yep. $28? <laughs> yeah. Um, why? Go well, forage. Go forage. Don't do it. Don't do it invasively. Some people live in Pittsburgh. And they should move. That water's really moving fast. Yonder is the river. Again. A different river. Um, Axeman, come on. We're missing out. Let's go. Uh, this is like far, far away from where we've been on our last couple of. Um, oh, and now you feel like running. This is ridiculous. Here, uh, there's, there's too much garbage down there. But if you look, who loves butterfly moon? deal here in Oregon, if you were, if you're not familiar, is that um, they they try to for every tree they harvest, they try to plant one or two. well, I, the rule is two. I think people try at least to keep up, you know. But that you know that's that's the way the loggers are supposed to play the game, and by and large, I mean they. I haven't seen any areas completely taken down that didn't regrow in the time that I've been here. So, Well, and so many trees since like the 60s and 70s have been the new growth, the fast growing new growth, which, you know, some people in home construction are going to argue big that that quality of wood is not as good as the old hard wood, you know, is what it is. You got to make do with what you got. You can't rape the planet for everything. So... We gotta get the grandkids to wash this car. Are they old enough yet? Uh, I hope so. I've asked Zed three times to detail this car, and uh, he's busy. I asked him to wash my car for my birthday. Yeah. I didn't get it either. Are we yeah. gonna send him this video? <laughs> uh, parenthood. So weird stuff happening. 
we were just walking through a park and we found a little kid. We probably, found a kid. what, two or three? Three, um, three. three. Three years old. We found old. Wesley. Wesley sitting on a park bench by himself. We Long, blue-eyed, adorable. Yeah, cute little boy. Little round Charlie Brown head. And um, sitting on a park bench by a fast moving river. river. Yeah. Let's just talk about that. No parents anywhere. How so many we, yards do you think the park was away? Oh, there, that's 100 yards if it was a day. That's At a least 100. 150, I would say. Yeah. And these people and this guy came on the other over. side of vehicles, you could not see the bench and this, from the park. Let's just clarify that. Totally sketchy situation, but we did find the kid's dad. Uh, we don't know Apparently, who he was. We don't know who he was. He claimed and he knew the child's name and everything else, and so he was like. Oh, and there was a little girl. A little girl who looked just like him, kind of like his sister or whatever. And what was weird is I was going towards the park to inquire if the kid. I, I hollered out, I mean no disrespect, but I need to clarify about a little boy over by the river that he belongs to someone. Um, this woman and another family discreetly started pointing towards this man, but wouldn't like do it for him to see. And then he started walking that way and I said, does he belong to you? And he would not respond to me. And he kept walking towards him and I said, no, I need to know, does he belong to you? But while this is happening, I'm noticing this little girl <laughs> outside the park, leaning against a rock, looking sad, maybe five or six. So let's add that little girl in there. Hang on just a second. Back to our um, tale of truth. And it was nice to meet you if you do watch this video, by the oh, way. Oh, I'm going to the closed part. I gotta yeah, go to the big part. You're gonna drive straight. I was staying on the concrete rather than the gravel. Remember how you said you were talking and not driving? Oh, she's back on the playground. That's good to see. Talky, no driving. Anyhow, back to the story. Driving, um, no talking. This guy, he says he won't answer me whether the kid belongs to him. But then he gets over there and he does say the kid's name. And we didn't know the kid's name. Yeah. So, so was that worked problem. out okay. How do I get out of here? get out of here. Pay attention to where you're driving. Do I go back the way we came? I think so because like you're you're off-roading. I am. <laughs> in, a, in a city park. Oops. <sighs> what were you Do saying? I go th oh I go through that opening. Honey. I see where I go. Oh I'm so confused. Well you think you're supposed to go through that opening. No I am. Oh my gosh, that was hard. <sighs> Math is hard. Some days. Anyhow, long story short. I'm the, hey look, I'm that meme kid. The kid goes back with this guy and he gets over and I'm still we're still watching the situation, right? He knows the kid by name, he's got this little girl, he's got this little boy, but they all kind of look this really dragging. It is. I'm getting through it quick though. I'm gonna There's, have to edit it. No, I'm gonna be quick. They're, they're kind of looking sad, but they go back over there and he gives them the choice to sit in their car seats in the truck or be on the playground. Little boy chose playground, little girl sat, chose sitting in the car. It's 80, 79 degrees out. It's hot. She made a bad choice. That's all I got to say. Done. <laughs> Speaking of sweating, my dear, let's get the car up to some speed once we get on pavement. Just testing the tires. That are paper thin. I told you already. We're gonna have a blowout, and Please it's no. don't even think about it. Please no. I don't want but we've got we brought our traffic cone with us. We thought putting I thought putting Harvey in the orange, and someone suggested somebody did say while we were on the trail. Oh, yeah. look, another one in training. So that so, is see, true. Someone is. told me put him in a training. Oh, and that's all we got is, yeah. is it, it the gets people to tell their kids trail. maybe don't don't walk right up to that one. Yeah. You know. It's anyway, not ready to pet right now. We're gonna find something more photogenic than ourselves because I'm sweating. I'm picking my not picking my nose, itching my nose. <laughs> Almost scratching it. But I was right at the tip Almost of my nose. Scratching it. Was there any penetration of the nasal cavity? No, but it's still itches. I'm going for one of these. You know, one there was of these. no pig. There was no pig. No pig. 
sorry that sounded gross, but my nose itched big time. Wow, look at the bamboo. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to get this green with the blue sky. Was enough for that dude. <laughs> oh yeah, that's drug smuggling. that's drug smuggling for sure. Drug smuggling. Oh, look at those license plates. White suburbans and shit working for the government. People don't think it's black suburbans, but it's not. It's all white, like Cadillac Escalades and shit. Do a power search is what I said. Do a power search. So let's go into the. We haven't done a DG in a long do time. Do a power search, babe. All right. Snack, too. See, I knew there was an ulterior motive. Yes, dear. M case, I didn't, there were so many people in line. I was oh. gonna get some munchies, but honest to God, there's like one cashier and the whole neighborhood is here right now. <laughs> it's so, true, I saw a lot of people. And there was a bunch of Hot Wheels, but I tell you what, I, I failed. I didn't even finger through it much. I, I you know, there isn't gonna be shit hanging. Um, of course, that's, you know, what I said when we got the 510 Super Treasure Home. Huh? 
excuse me, I have the chili. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I actually, you know, <laughs> that was funny. you know, it's funny too. It's like I actually, as I was walking out of the store, I felt like I had like a good part, but and there were so many people in there, and I was just gonna like let rip. But I couldn't get my phone out of my pocket fast enough. And then I felt like if I pushed it, I would like do more harm than good. So I have a question. <laughs> you know, gambled and lost, as they say. I have a question. What? For, for on film. For, for our, our viewers and myself. <laughs> yes. What was my snack that you ended up putting down then and not bringing out to the counter? Uh, I was going to get some Reese's. Uh, uh, You're full of shit. You weren't even going to grab anything. You had forgot already because you didn't say a word about it. You just talk about not buying these Hot Wheels because of the line. You never came out and said anything. I guess you you'll have to watch the episode, won't you? Oh, yeah, see? Down she doesn't watch anything that we do. She doesn't watch anything that I do without her, for sure. I'm telling you. Such a supportive You're wife. You're risk me getting angry. Look, here comes the I-5 corridor. Oh, we're gonna avoid it. Talbot Buena Vista was my radio name. <laughs> That's a bad one. Uh, no wonder you the trees Axel do you like the, the tree farms <laughs> oh my god he hates here. That here really and on this side yeah these are all wine grapes probably um, another those cactuses there's so more farm equipment by, or bicycles I see flashing yeah it's bikes bicycles um Another one of the exports here is uh, wine. It's good soil for for making wine. Should I get them with the doorbell? Yeah, there's three of them. I All right, kid. Okay. All right, big points.